Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I made a video a few months ago about my two-year experiment with methylene blue, and I covered everything you need to know in that video, and I'll give you the direct link to that video at the end of this one. However, I got asked a bunch of times if methylene blue is actually safe. Now, some people in the comments said no, and some people said yes, and some people were unsure, and then they give all these different, you know, points of view. So today, you'll discover the clinical studies around the safety, and more importantly, my own personal experience and consultation with real world users as to what's safe and what's not, the correct form, the dose and all that as it relates to methylene blue. Now, getting started, as I mentioned in the original video, methylene blue was first discovered in uh, 1876 as a textile dye and it does have FDA approval for a rare blood condition. So obviously the, the most important part is to make sure you, you, you don't use the wrong form since everyone can sell anything online. In a couple of minutes, I'll tell you the correct form for human consumption. They've been, though it is FDA approved, so there is some safety there. Let's talk about the acute, the big time side effects. Now, some of the short-term ones are include nausea or vomiting, abdominal discomfort, um, dizziness, headaches, sweating, and, and also this transient blue and green discoloration um, in your urine, but sometimes also in your skin and saliva, your mucous membrane. Now, the first time I used it, I, I started with a higher dose because I thought that's the that's correct one. And um, yep, my pee was like a bluish green <laughs> most of the day. And I got a little worried at first because I wasn't expecting it. But there isn't anything to worry about unless you're using a very high dose all the time. And yes, there are some influencers who are promoting very high dose. And I don't know why, what's up with our society that we always think, especially with men, more is better, more is better. And it's not the truth, especially when it comes to drugs. All right, so now let's talk about some serious um, risks and side effects. Uh, methylene blue can cause um, uh, hemolytic anemia, which um, it, it affects some people who have a, a deficiency in uh, G6PD deficiency. And this is basically when your red blood cells are destroying faster than your body can replace them. And this leads to low red blood cells, which obviously isn't good and cause, you know, basically symptoms like fatigue or jaundice, which is like yellowing of your skin and your eyes, um, dark urine, which obviously is good because that means something's wrong with your liver and then large spleen. Um, other serious reactions, and I've seen this one, is um, severe hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and uh, aphylaxis. Basically, it's like, um, you know, have you heard of an aphylactic shock? It's basically you're having an allergic reaction, and your body needs immediate medical retreat, treatment. It's basically like almost like having an asthma attack and you can't breathe. And yes, it can kill you. But again, this happens at very high dosages. Um, one of the more common side effects that you've probably heard about, or maybe not, is. Um, serotonin syndrome um redis has, has talked about this or people um methylene basically methylene blue inhibits the monoamine oxidase a so combining it with ssris or snris um or maoa inhibitors such as serotonergenic um, agents can trigger serotonin syndrome which can be life threatening and this is basically almost all the antidepressant drugs such as prozac or ssris um, because of this, the FDA has labeled uh, the strong warnings and typical recommendation, uh, recommendations to avoid ser serotonergenic medications um, before or after taking it. Also, it's not just, um, for example, uh, SSRIs drugs such as Prozac. Uh, if you take supplements like 5-HTP or L-tryptophan, those also increase serotonin. So it's not a good combination to take with methylene blue. All right, let's talk about safety doses of methylene blue. Uh, pharmaceutical references uh, say it's well tolerated at therapeutic doses about two milligrams per kilogram, um, but when used briefly and obviously under supervision. So if you're a 150 pound person, that means you roughly weigh 70 kilograms. So at two milligrams per kilogram, that means that you can safely take 140 milligrams daily of methylene blue, just basically your body weight. Remember, this dose is used briefly for very short weeks, not months and year after year. All right. Now, personally, I think that's a super high dose. And I've seen people who contacted me um, for consultation because of the negative side effects that they had with these. So keep in mind that such dosages are referenced as well tolerated. were given to people who had health issues that they were trying to fix. Um, they use methylene blue to help improve their health. Hence, such high dosages are not needed for like people like you and me, average healthy person. Um, again, they're not used 
safely for long term. Um, my suggested dose, which is safely, um, first of all, why do people even use methylene blue? Really, it's basically in, to improve your energy levels, improve mitochondrial health and ATP production. I'll give you solutions that also help with that that I take. But basically, it acts like a very good nootropic. And many people use it for days. And I suggest you start with just five milligrams, all right? Do that for about a week or two. See how you feel. Then increase it to 10 milligrams daily. Uh, if you don't feel anything, if you don't see any benefits, if you do, then just sit with the five milligrams. If you don't, up it to about 10 milligrams for a couple of weeks. Again, if you still don't feel anything or maybe you want more, take it to 15 milligrams for two weeks. Again, I always suggest five milligrams every two weeks. Um, again, if nothing else, then go to 20 milligrams daily for two weeks. But based on, honestly, dozens and maybe hundreds of clients and patients I've helped, I honestly don't think you need anything more than 50 milligrams. It's more than enough and it's a high dose. And again, it's not something I recommend you take all the time. All right. Just, just like everything, your body has to cycle it or you get used to it. It doesn't work. You need to keep upping the dose to get the same effect. But then as you up the dose, more negatives effect. Now, personally, I use about five to 10 milligrams, um, maximum daily. I do so for maybe maybe, you know, two, three, four weeks. And I don't use it every single day, maybe four or five days. Um, and then I take off a week. Um, I also take it, I also take daily. It's called a product called Body Brain Energy. That's really my main two, nootropic, mitochondrial, ATP help. I use methylene blue as like an extra boost. Um, so another problem with all this stuff, you got to use the right dose. So when using methylene blue, make sure it's only the pharmaceutical grade USP methylene blue. So pharmaceutical grade USP methylene blue. Um, do not get the ones used for aquarium or fish tank or industrial dye, which contains um, contaminants and impurities. Remember, it was originally a textile dye. And I've had friends when I was younger that I've heard found out about methylene blue was they were using it in their fish tank. So don't use that same kind. Um, take methylene blue earlier in the day to minimize insomnia or over overstimulation um, because uh, remember it increases mitochondria. So that's good, but use it earlier in the day. Also, if your urine gets a little blue green or even your stool, don't worry about it. It's normal. It's natural. Now, again, keep in mind that methylene blue is not magical. All right. It's not some anti-aging fix it all solution that you might hear. Um, just it, it's a way to improve your body and cycle it. Start low, increase it every two weeks and then cycle off. And um, again, I'll put links below in the description area about other ways you can improve your mitochondria and also the, the methylene blue, the one I use and I buy from Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. Again, let me know your questions below and I'll put a link to the original video underneath this one. Watch it at the end of this one. Let me know your questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.